Hello everyone. In office, we use different manual ways to track the break time or productive time of team members. Normally, we are recording time manually in Excel sheet, which is boring and not accurate. In this video, I am presenting an automated break sheet where you can record the time and duration of a week and save the file for your record purpose. Let's see the functionalities available in the automated break sheet and how you can use the sheet at your home or office. The workbook has four sheets. First sheet is help where all the information is available. This will help you to fill and record the time sheets effectively. Second sheet is break time and we will use this sheet to record the break time or lunch time. Third sheet is logs and this sheet will keep the record of all break duration of a week. Fourth sheet is dashboard and it will show the weekly comparison graph. So let's understand how to record break time effectively. The break time sheet will record the data for a week. Column A is showing weekdays. The next two column, column B and column C is for login and logout time. Now first time when you open your Excel sheet, it will record the login time corresponding to today's weekday. Now today is Wednesday and the login time is recorded against Wednesday. The login time is recorded only once. So if you reopen your file on the same day, the login time will not change. Similarly, when you close your file, it will record the logout time against today's weekday. Before closing the sheet, message box will appear to inform that closing the sheet will record the logout time. The logout time will be updated every time when you close the sheet for the same day. The best practice is to keep your sheet open for the full day and close when you are leaving office or finishing today's job. The next five columns D to H are for recording the break time. So during the day, if you are going for short breaks like tea break, you don't have to calculate or remember the duration manually. So before leaving the desk, press start timer button. It will start the timer. The button color will change to red to indicate that timer is running. The label of button will change to stop timer. Also, the start lunch button will be disabled. Now, when you back from short break, press the stop timer button and it will calculate the break duration in minutes and update the corresponding break slot. Now, there are three different break slots, the morning break, noon break and evening break. And the corresponding timings are given in help sheet. So if you take a short break between midnight to 12 noon, the break time will be recorded in morning break column. If you take a break during 12 noon to 5.30 p.m., then the break time is recorded in noon break column. Also, if you take multiple breaks during the same slot, the break duration will be added to existing break duration. So in break time sheet, click on stop timer button. Now the below cell is showing the current break duration and the same is updated in noon break slot. Now you can see all these breaks in logs files also. So the last line is showing the current break duration with corresponding weekday, date and time. 
log file will not record the break details if duration is less than one minute. The last column in break time sheet is showing the total breaks taken in a day. The lunch time is recorded in column E and F. To enter the lunch break time, press start lunch button. It will record the current time in column E against the corresponding weekday. The button color and corresponding lunch and time cell color will change to red to indicate that lunch break is still running. Also, the start timer button will be disabled. Now after lunch break, press the lunch done button. It will record the lunch finish time in column F. After this, the button will be disabled because you can record the lunch time once in a day. The log file will also record the lunch timing and duration. Column I is showing the time duration we spent in office. It is the difference of login and logout time. Column J is showing the lunch duration. It is the difference of lunch start time and lunch end time. Column K is showing the total break duration in minutes. It does not include the lunch break duration. Column L is showing the active or productive time in office. This time is calculated after deducting lunch break and short break durations. Column M is showing the total number of breaks taken in a day. Clear data button will clear the break data entered in the break sheet and the log data. Save file button will save the file for each week and for corresponding user. Now click on save file button and the file is stored in the same location. The sheet name includes username, year, and the current week number. You can keep files of individual weeks in the same folder. We can add further validations and modify the sheet as per the requirement. Now close the file. Message box will appear. If logout time is blank, it will record the logout time. So click on OK. Now open the file. The login time will remain as is. Logout time is recorded. The location of the sheet is available in the description section. Download and use the file. Share your experience and suggestions in comment section. If you like the content, press thumbs up and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications of new videos. Thanks for watching.